So it looks like we are streaming and it took a bunch of attempts to get it correct and I'm about to play something. Let's um let's uh pop out chat. Okay. And I guess I won't post this, so Cool. Okay, so. Um, I really. Oh, wait. Do I have to change the name of this one? Maybe in the dashboard. We're getting somewhere. Don't worry. Watch live. I guess it won't let me. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I was going to remix something, a uh, hardcore track, but it turned out to be trash, and it doesn't make any sense. And it won't be that hard to figure out which one it is. Um, so, yeah, I'll just post it on my Facebook. Uh, so. I went ahead and I got something uh, that I can give it. I can give it a try. I don't really remix all that often, but uh, yeah, I got uh, the EDX remix. I don't recall what the track is called, but uh, it was I sorted by a release or by a deadline and. Um, I sorted, yeah, I sorted by deadline. I picked the the closest one to the deadline that sounded like I could do something okay with it. Um, so let's listen to these. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Take it. Yeah, I take it. That's two parts. So we'll just load that up into my virus. Don't be alarmed by my weird configuration. It's not that difficult to figure out. It's MIDI into the virus, and then from the virus out to these three green audio tracks. These top two are for like crashes and effects, and the bottom ones are just for whatever. And I just drag and drop. Um, whatever into it and it's pretty cool um, and it's just my initial patch and it works quite well I suggest you do something like that so uh, we have our virus window Saw classic, why not? And we'll pump in some unison and spread the hell out of it. Fire. This will be usually you start with like the main meat of the track, um, and then you just build it outwards. And uh, you take some ideas. Assuming you're using hardware, you take some ideas. You just like keep recording and recording and recording. And that way, um, the things work out well. So I'm going to drop in some reverb. And I'm going to... 
clock in some pre-delay. So you click as soon as the after, this after touch and then the reverb comes in. delay. It's good to uh, kind of move it all the way to wet so then you can uh, you can see what you, well you can hear what it's doing and you kind of want to do that and then slap back. I'm going to turn down this reverb and then I'm going to see what it, the, the hypersaw by itself sounds like and then we're going to add another hypersaw and move it up 12 semitones and that should make it you know sound neat so now we have like a like a higher component feature it just adds punch so with it open you want to add some release and the slope like you know that sounds big and that's mostly because of the the rectifier it's taking like Top part of the waveform, the bottom part, the bottom part of the waveform, and inverting the bottom one, and it's doing something cool. And I want that stab is going to be the main kind of meat of the track with kind of a kick, kick and bass idea uh, I have in my head, and that should make it neat. And then you just kind of you, you add you add the effects sparingly. And that way, you know you don't you don't overproduce it. So you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of things you can add. The more things, the better, in my opinion. But like less is more. But like all of them together accumulate into one kind of powerful effect. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably modulate or uh, add, attach uh, automation to the phaser. And we'll boost the highs slightly. And just to save on processing, we'll... Uh, Take away a bit of the lows and around where the kick will be, I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, we'll close that for now. And I will use one of the kick drums that I'm fond of. That aren't these. So I want that because it has a 
sine wave at the end. You'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the low end. And uh, the electroshock ones have a nice round bottom. That one's pretty, uh, pretty sinusoidal. So you look at it, and it's kind of wavy. That if you see uh, that with a kick, or if you see like that waviness in your kick, and that means there's it's a sinusoidal kick. And if you see this one, this one is more of a triangle, but it's still sinusoidal. I'll try to find one. Yeah, this one. This one is quite eh, sinusoidal. Oh, it's it's triangular. Um, either one works. Uh, I prefer sinusoidal kicks, uh, and you can uh, clip them a tiny bit, make them more triangular. But we'll do that later. Uh, always take the clip out, and I'm available in chat if you want to chat it up. Uh, wait, okay, so so yeah, for this this bottom part, this bot, this other kick, I'm gonna use it as a base. So I'm gonna take away the transients completely, the punchy part of the kick. I'm just gonna take those away because I don't like them, and it saves EQing them out. So just cut them out, you're good to go. See that one, that one's, this will work better, in my opinion. So you have that, that kind of techno groovy thing going on. Shave a bit of that out, and we'll take the highs out of this, and uh, shave a bit more of that out. And we will gently sidechain that out. breathing too much in a negative way two notifications oh, okay so uh, let's see why are you clipping oh the volume has to be slightly lower here we will drop a compressor of course and match that to the kick why are we clicking what are you doing and I can't edit my settings that's perfect that's weird I think it's the camera. Whatever. Yeah, I know. I'll just bear with it. I'll obviously I'll have to do my mix down in Camtasia. Oops, go away. Oh, come back. There you go. So, oops. We'll loop all this to save uh, because it loads each clip into memory. And if you have enough, you're, if you don't have enough memory, you'll you'll max out and you won't be able to open the project again. You have to open it separately. Yeah. So we have a nice little groove there, which is groovy. We'll add a uh, percussion 
I like toms because they're old school. So I want these, the I don't, I want to take the bass out of these, so that's what I'll do. And I want the top part, I want a bit of stereo separation going on here, uh, with the utility, you know, just move up the width, you'll hear it. Now that actually, that doesn't have a whole lot of low-end uh, components. So what I'll do is I'll add another one which adds artificially some stereo and then I'll mid-side uh, EQ it. So that'll phase it a tad and then mid-side Just to really rub it in, I'll uh, add a bit of this. I'm going to switch out the tom sound. that has a clap component which will kind of fuckery some things up. that uh, we'll go back to our vengeance minimal house and I want some claps with a bit of uh, bit of uh, stretching in the beginning one will work. And uh, we'll add a bit of reverb. Pre-delay. that and we'll stretch that out that clicking and popping is almost unbearable actually and I have no idea why it's doing that 
Oops. Sorry about that. Um, It doesn't like low end. Okay, so we got our we got our loop there. And our virus. Our virus he plucks. fucking bad so I'm gonna try to 